First, we need to know how many columns we're going to store. So in matrix A, notice there are three columns. So if you didn't know, you could display the matrix like I did here. Otherwise, if you know, hey, that's awesome. Second, we're going to go to the matrix menu. And then we want to go to the math. And then we want to select option 8, which is matrix to list. Now, we need to first name the matrix. So we're going to go back to matrix and then select A. Then we have to put a bunch of commas. And then we need to put a list for every column that we have. So in this case, I'm going to do L1, L2, and L3. You can do whichever list you want, but L1, comma, and then I have to go back to my list menu by pressing second stat, and then two for L2, comma, and then back to the list, and then L3. I believe I can press enter. Cool, it's done. Now, what this means is 2, 5, which is the first column, will be stored as list 1. 3, 2 will be stored in list 2. And the third column, 9, 17, is in list 3. Now, we can actually look at these lists. Let's check out L1. Press enter. And it's 2, 5. Notice that's the first column. I believe it's going to work also for L2 and L3. Now, there's a few other ways you can do this. A variation is to select only one column from our matrix and store it into a list. We go back to the matrix math menu and we select 8. And what we do here is we can select, again, matrix A. So let's do that. And we press comma. And then we, we enter which column number. So in this case, let's take column number 3. And then we have to select a target list. We have to put a comma here. And then let's choose list 4 and press enter. So notice, go to matrix list, the name of the matrix, the column number, and then the list you'd like to store it as. So now we can check list 4 and press enter and it's 917 which is only the third column which is awesome so you can do a whole matrix or you can do just one column of matrix